So what's happening in France around 1789? Remember that during this time, King Louis XVI ruled France as an absolute monarch. An absolute monarch is a leader that has all the power over what decisions are made for a country. During this time period, a social hierarchy of three groups called the estate system divided French society. The nobility and the clergy composed the first and second estate, respectively. The third estate was everyone else, from merchants to peasants. The first and second estate made up only 2% of the population. The third estate contained the other 98%. The third estate did the majority of the labor and paid all the taxes. The first and second estate didn't have to pay any taxes. In France, food prices were rising rapidly, and people were spending the majority of their money on bread, an essential part of the French diet. The people in the third estate were suffering due to these price increases. These conditions collided with the new philosophical ideas from the Enlightenment. This philosophy introduced new thoughts, that people had natural rights, and that the purpose of the government was to protect those rights. You've learned that revolutions occur because of multiple factors within a country, and often fall into political, social, and economic categories. Now, you'll begin to analyze the conditions of France leading up to the French Revolution. As you explore the documents, keep those categories, political, social, and economic, in mind.